Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So do you guys know what I realized? When I watch other Nintendo channels do like the top 10 eShop games or best cheap eShop games, they never really talk about one specific genre of video games and that is visual novels and that's why <laughs> I'm making this video. So I wanted to um, make like a little suggestion type of video of visual novels in the eShop that you know I would like to buy and that you guys might be interested in buying too because when I watch like other videos about eShop games they never really talk about visual novels and I feel like visual novels you know in the uh, on the Nintendo Switch in the eShop just needs like more attention it needs to be recognized more because i'm a visual novel lover <laughs> i love visual novels so much and i feel like it just doesn't like get talked about all that much like we're just a really small community and i just want to bring more attention to the list of visual novels that i found so far in the eShop game that you guys might not have you know came across or you know um know about first i want to talk about a new visual novel game that just dropped called one way ticket by zodiac interactive so one way ticket is a visual novel loosely based around actual events a group of men and women isolated at sea on a long distance fishing vessel suddenly find their very humanity at stake as crew members begin turning up dead now i really find this interesting because it's kind of like a little mystery and you know takes place like on the sea and you know i'm all for that so you guys might be interested in it too if you're into like mystery you know like maybe some type of shipwreck or whatever i don't know um exactly but it sounds really interesting to me and it's only 6.99 so it's pretty cheap the next game i'm going to be talking about is called soul slayer and it's by oh uh, excuse me for butchering <laughs> these um names but i think it's called navilla software japan and what's um like attracted me about this game is the art style like the art style looks really interesting and just beautiful and different from other visual novels that i've um played and seen so it says you have three chances find the killer an exciting adventure in the story of ancient chinese setting so when i first read that i was like okay cool you know like i don't really um Played that many games or even visual novels that takes place in like a um, ancient setting. Like the only other visual novel I've um, played that takes place in like ancient Japan is Hakaoki, and I love that game, <laughs> the Hakaoki series. So I suggest that you guys um, check out Hakaoki. But this takes place in ancient China. So it says, Yao Shui is an ordinary young lady from a noble family, yet it pains her to stay in a household where she doesn't fit in. Her only way out is through marriage and starting a new family. Now her with wedding um, approaching, she is killed unexpectedly, right on the eve of her big day. As Yao Shui reopens her eyes right after her death, she finds herself trapped in a time loop, forcing her to live through the same day over and over, surviving and dying again and again. Now that is like type of storyline that i'm really like intrigued when it comes to like time loops and then you know the character is like stuck and they have to like find some way to like break the spell you know they might have to talk to different people they might have to save someone so when i also read that i was like yeah this is definitely right up my alley she is told that she has three chances to save herself. If she loses three turns, the game ends, and so does her life. Will each repeated encounter get Yao Shui one step closer to the truth? An exciting adventure um, in the story of ancient China's setting. Visual novel with multiple endings to explore now. I love multiple endings. I'm sure any of us visual novel lovers love um, multiple endings. 
Collect them to unveil hidden parts of the story. Every decision you make matters. Make full use of the clue system to collect information and be careful with your choice. Full Chinese voice cast. Now, I really want to get this game because it's like so right up my alley. Like the artwork is different. It takes place in the ancient setting. It's about like a girl being stuck in a time loop and she has to break it. There are clues, you know, to solve a mystery, everything. So I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm hoping to get it, you know, sometime soon. And it's only $9.99, so pretty cheap. Next is a visual novel that I think is also on the PS4. So if you have a PS4, you might like heard about this or, you know, if you don't have a Switch. Um, and you just have a PS4, then you can like play this on your PS4. But it's called Akash Path of the, F Path of the Five, and it's by Turant Pixel. As the first girl raised in your village in over 200 years, your choices will decide your fate and the future of your people. Akash Path of the Five is a visual novel in the ultimate style. Players will become a war, a member of the magical race of elementals. As the first elemental girl the village has seen in over 200 years, all eyes are on your fast approaching coming up aid ceremony. All is not as it seems, however, as tensions between Akash and a nearby human settlement threaten to erupt into an all-out war. Cultivate a romance with one of her five classmates. Navigate the coming conflict and plan the greatest coming of age ceremony your village has seen in over two centuries. And it's featuring a fully voiced narrative with over 7,000 lines of dialogue, a veteran cast including Sung Wo Cho, Morgan Berry, Ray Chase, Andrew Love, Chris Patton, Brandon McGinnis, and more. Over 80 collectible CGs, 6 potential love interests, up to 25 possible endings, an original orchestra score by Fat Bard, high res character art, and stylized 3D environments. Now, when I first. Because I actually first um, found out about it on the PS4, but then when I saw that it was on the Switch, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> going to be getting this on the Switch. But it really does sound interesting because it's pretty much about like elementals. I really like, you know, the whole magic thing, elementals and all of that. So it sounds pretty interesting. And it's $29.99. So it is a bit pricier than the um, last couple that I talked about. But, you know, it sounds like it could be worth it. Next up is a visual novel that I'm sure that we're all very familiar with. And that's Clanad. And it's by Prototype. Now I know Clan Ad also has like an anime, I think, or like a movie or something like that. But, and I originally was going to get this on the PS4, but now that I have a Switch, I could just get it on my Switch. So it says, Spring Ordinary School Life develops into a complex story of fascinating characters in the town where they live. Step aside a hard woman tell a love, family, and a tie stop buying us all together. With gorgeous visuals and a haunting soundtrack, the classic romantic adventure game comes to the Nintendo Switch. So, um, I'm sure most of us, like, um, heard about Clan Dad or know a bit about it, but, um, I really want to, like, play it and just, like, see the story and just like get to know the characters and everything and it is $44.99 so it's like really steep <laughs> like that's a big um steep price but you know it could be worth it and especially if some of you like might have seen like the anime and you really like playing that so the next two games come in like a pair and is enchanted in the moonlight so one um game has the characters so one game has the characters Kiru, um, Chikage, and you, um, Kino, Joe, and then the other comes with Miyabi, Kyoga, and Salmon. Uh, Salmon. But this story is pretty much about one day your attack otherworldly. Ayakashi, one of your power will protect you human, but in return you must offer your power to one of us. Your average 25 year old girl whose life consists of working at the local library, giving up your family shrine and not much else. However, that all changes when gorgeous men save you from mysterious malevolent forces. These men aren't all they appear to be though. They're actually Ayakashi spears. You discover that your blood is imbued with the ancient power, one that the spirit will co um, covet. And these handsome strangers are willing to protect you for a price that is. Are you ready to make a deal with these other worldly creatures? So it sounds interesting. And both of these are um, $19.99. Now I'm not sure why um, the company who made it, which is Vultures. <laughs> um, I guess that's probably the reason why it's like split up. Because this is 
um, buy vultures, but you know, it sounds like it could be interesting. So you guys might be interested in it. Next game I'm going to be talking about is a little bit different from the last visual novels I talked about, and it's called Eliza, and it's by Alliance. Eliza is a story about AI therapists, the people who develop it and the people who use it. After abandoning her high power tech career and a mysterious three year absence, Evelyn Shino Aubrey resurfaces working at a proxy for a virtual counseling app called Eliza. Her job consists solely of reading a script provided to her in real time by AI, leaving her no anatomy over what she says. Is Eliza a technological marvel that brings therapy to those who otherwise can access it? Or is it an ineffective replacement and another vector for technology companies to gain control over their over our lives humanity? As she reconnects with people from her past and gets to know the ordinary people of Seattle who use Eliza for counseling, Evelyn finds herself caught in the middle between different sides of the argument. And as she begins to question everything about her past life and future purpose in the world, it becomes clear she must confront the turmoil and darkness inside. So it's a thought-provoking story told in the form of a visual novel from an award-winning any team. And then you basically follow Evelyn's journey through a present day Seattle brought to life with a beautiful hand painted art, gets to know Eliza's clients and the company of Skanda, the technology giant behind it with over a dozen fully voiced characters and powerful performances from a highly regarded cast. And it's only $14.99 now when I first came across this. It sounded like so different from like the typical and that's why I like I like don't get me wrong I like you know the romance <laughs> visual novels but I also like the mystery I like just you know just different kinds of stuff like you know science and all that so this like really intrigued me and I really do like that hand painted art style so this might be interesting to you guys if you're into um, you know this type of visual novels or stories or if you just want to find something different that's not like completely romance. So next is Gakuin Club by D3 Publisher. What lay behind the door was the glamorous nightlife. Welcome to the secret social spot. Um, our heroine is entering her junior year of high school when she finds out that she will be suddenly transferred to the famous um, Kirika Academy located in the city due to her father's new job. She is quite excited about starting her new school life, but she stumbles upon a secret nightclub that is being operated after school hours and gets herself bolted to work in the kitchen. As she grows closer to the other way step of the nightclub, she learns of their past and finds herself becoming more and more involved in the complicated web of human relationships and romance. So what intrigued me about this is, you know, the whole, like it kind of reminds me of Orin Host Club where, you know, the guys you know have their own little club but then you know their whole so it's kind of like this where you know these guys have their own club after hours and you know the heroine stumbles upon it and then she just gets roped in <laughs> into you know doing this club with them so that's like what reminded me and what intrigues me and i also really like the art style so it's 24.99 Next is a game that I really like did expect to see but it really like got my attention. It's called Pub Encounter and it's also by D3 Publisher. So this game um, is a romance game where you can fall in love with one of several middle aged men. All of them are experienced and life have their own stories to tell. They may not be young but they can love as deeply and passionately as any of them. After a rough day at work you decide to walk in a walk a different way home to try and improve your mood. Walking down an unfamiliar street, you stumble across a bar named Aldear that seems like it has a nice atmosphere. Unsure what to expect, you open the door and find a group of high class older men. What awaits you at Aldear? So yeah, what um, got my attention was the fact that instead of, you know, you usually romancing like other young guys, you get to romance like older guys and that's like, <laughs> like I know um, some of you that might be more into older men you might really enjoy this or you just might want you know something different or just anything but yeah I just really like the idea of getting to like romance older men and like getting to hear like their stories their experiences you know just it just breaks like the mold and it's like different from you know just romancing like guys your age or guys that's like you know younger than you and it's $16.99 so next visual novel game is actually more on the horror side and it's called Raging Lou by P-Cube 
immerse yourself in a thrilling psychological horror story taking place in the secluded Japanese village of Yasumisu. A heavy mist surrounds the place, preventing anyone from ever leaving. Ancient gods have come back to hunt the villagers down one by one. The feast has begun. Can you escape the village alive? Now, what I really like this is that it's horror. Because <laughs> I have been wanting to read more horror visual novels. So when I saw this, I was like, yep, put in my wish list. I gotta have it. I want to like read and like know the mystery like know like what's going on like why are people you know being held captive <laughs> so it might be interested to you too and it's um 29.99 so pretty much 30 dollars but it might be worth it if you're into like horror and stuff like that next um is two games that's also a pair and it's the men of yoshiwaru um ogia and Kikuya. They're both $20 and they're about a closed island where baby boys are not born. A unique culture that is completely different from the mainland has been flourishing on the island, in the middle of the island. There's a uh, district where men are gathered. Some women just want children, others are looking for love, normally deceived by a lie and deceive and return all in a single night dream. At the end, to whom is that you'll be taken of love? So, sounds kind of interesting. Um, the art style looks really nice. It's only $20, so it might be worth checking out. Next is a visual novel that I've seen like a lot of people on Instagram talk about and that I really want to get and it's called Nightshade by D3 Publisher. So Nightshade um, is set in Japan soon after the Sengoku period. Follow the romance between the protagonist and other main characters through a compelling tale of conflicting loyalties. So I became intrigued when I saw people talk about this on Instagram and it looks really nice. I really like the art style. So it might be worth checking out. Now it is pretty expensive. It's literally like <laughs> almost $50. It's $47.99 but I feel like it might be worth it. You know a girl who chants love at the bound of this world. So this game is about playing as Takuya, an academy student who discovers the secret to time travel thanks to a mysterious gift from his deceased father. Used to reflect her device to travel through multiple timelines and gather clues to unlock the true resting beneath sword um, cape. So this game is also pretty expensive. It's $49.99. But it sounds pretty interesting. I mean, there's time traveling if you're into that, especially like if you play Science Gates, because Science Gates is all about like time travel sci-fi. So if you're into time travel and sci-fi, you might be interested in the art style looks pretty cool and everything. And it's by Spike Chunsoft US. Now the last game I'm gonna talk about is a game that I'm actually like currently playing and I just love it so much. Like I think it's fantastic. It's like so inclusive with you know um, gender identity, sexualities, and everything. And I really do highly recommend you guys check this out. But it's called Long Story, a dating game for the real world by Bloom Digital. In Long Story, you can be and date who you choose. Play as the gender of your choice and date the cutie you like best. Whoever say you can't go back. Long story, a charming and LGBTQ plus friendly dating sim set at the worldly lovable Weasel Heights Middle School lets you pick your pronouns as well as who, or even if you would like to date any of your romance school friends. On your first day of school, you discover that the previous owner of your locker has mysteriously disappeared. Do you want to figure out what happened or are you too busy being a social butterfly and trying to avoid your enemies? Now, I really like this game because like I said, it's inclusive. It's $14.99, so it's... You know, kind of in that mirror area where it's not completely cheap, but it's also not completely expensive. So if you have like, um, you know, $15 to spare <laughs> and everything, I really do recommend you guys playing this if you haven't already. Um, you can also play it on mobile, on Steam, because it first came out on mobile when it first came out. And I wanted to play at the time, but you know, I just didn't really have the money. And then when it came out on Steam, you know, um, I kind of didn't really want to play on my computer. I kind of wanted to like play it on console. So I was really happy when I saw that this 
uh, finally canceled the Tinder Switch. So I really do highly recommend you guys check out Long Story. It's really cute. It's simple. You know, it's nothing too like serious or like. I mean, they're kind of serious moments, <laughs> but it's not too like, you know, heart riching, you know, making you tear up and everything. It's just like really cute and simple. And if you just want to wind down after a long day of work, school, and you just want to play something that has like good music and, you know, lovable characters and everything, I do recommend Long Story. So for that, this is the end of my video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's kind of like a little suggestions video. You know, just like recommending some um, visual novels that I think sounds interesting and want to buy that you guys might be interested in buying if you never you know, came across these games or even heard of them and everything. So I hope you guys like this video. Like this video if you like, subscribe for more um, content like this and Vlogmas videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video.